and welcome to Tech Checker today. I've been sent this HDMI extender um, with um, an infrared, infrared blaster as well. It supports 20 to 60 meter transmissions by CAXI signal network cable, uh, supports HDMI 3D. Um, supports HDMI 1080p aluminium alloy shell so they're obviously well made so we inside the box right, so you get a unit for each end there's one there's the other a couple of power supplies an infrared blaster and some instructions. So we'll look at those. That's one side. Right. Do not mix up the RJ45 sender and the RJ45 HDMI receiver before installation. Do not plug in when it is working. Do not hot plug in when working. Use the DC5 power supply only. Make sure the specifications match the adapters if not supplied by the factory. HDMI LAN sender and HDMI receiver. Okay, so you've got a power, HDMI, and infrared in. And you've got a reset button, the cap 5 and the link. And then on the other one you've got a reset, cap 6 and the link. Um, power in, HDMI and the infrared. So let's get nice and small. They're a lot smaller than I thought, so that's nice. So, yep. Okay, so there's one of the units. It's got four holes so you can screw it down if you want to. Here's the other unit. So this one's got a sender on it. And this one's got receiver on it. So HDMI goes in here to that one into the television. And then here you've got the um, IR blaster. So oh, there you go. So one's a receiver and one's a transmitter. If it does not require our pass back function is not needed. So that's obviously the receiver and the other one is the sender. Then we have two power units. Open these up. One there. There's another one there. Okay. I'll we'll just measure those quickly. So they're a nice size. They are two and a half inches or sixty six point five millimeters squared. Small compact size, which is nice. Okay, so I'm going to go and get a Cat 6 cable and I can connect these up and test them. Okay, so I've got a cable and I've connected it between the two, and if you can just see there, I've now got a solid light on that one. And I've got a solid light on this one. While you're connecting it, it will be flashing. Once it's linked, it stays on permanently. I'm now just going to do a quick test. I'll 
I've got my Xbox going through it at the moment, so I'm going to try and capture some footage from my Xbox. It's just going to be the home screen, etc., just to show that it does work. So at the moment, it's coming from my Xbox, uh, which goes into the in, and then it comes all the way out, and it goes into my capture uh, HD capture video capture device. And then that goes into the television. So this is interrupting the link. I can see the picture on the telly. So all I have to do now is press the record button, which I've done. Let's get my controller. Log in. Okay. On that, this is just a quick test, so that's gonna do. I'll let some sound come through actually. This is the Doom Beta. I'll be putting in the picture up here just to show you the picture. This will support up to up to 196 feet. So um, cable lengths adjust automatically between one and 60 meters. 60 meters is a long way. So. Okay, so I'm just loading this up. It's just going through the loading page at the moment. Let's say the picture's going to be up here. I'll be some information while it's loading. Supports 1080 HD uh, audio uh, also. Uh, it also supports 3D. Comes with an IR blaster. Um, auto adjustments to match the cable length adjustments specification automatically for different cable lengths from 1 to 60 meters to achieve the best display pure hardware transmission it's pure hardware design no need for drivers plug and play full transmission um, technology to make the image more vivid installation requires a HDMI source um, Graphics card, DVD, PS3, HD monitor equipment, etc. HDMI display like SD TV or HD TV or projector. Um, UTSTP, Cat6, Cat6A, six, Cat7 six cable, follow the standards of IEEE 56B. Cat cable must be over 15 meters. 50 foot. Right, so look, this cable is not obviously anywhere near that length, and this is actually Cat 5E cable. I haven't actually got any Cat C cable. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to go and order some. So I'm just gonna connect now. Okay, so let's find a match. So this is a real life scenario, I've got it connected through my Xbox, it's running through this cable, I'm watching it on the screen, there's no visual loss, you can hear the sound, I'll turn up, that is the sound of the game. So that just shows you that the game loads up, etc. Obviously I'm not going to be playing any of that on here. I just wanted to give you a quick demo of the way it works. So I'm now going to unplug my pen um, my recording. I'm going to unplug it and I'm going to plug it into my computer just to check the footage. Okay. 
turn the table, turn the Xbox off now, let's see. Turn that off. Right, so this is... And that's playing perfectly. So that just shows it's working. I've actually used Cat 5e cable, not Cat 6, and it's worked perfectly fine. This is probably about three meters of patch cable, um, and it's captured the sound and the picture quality is perfectly good, um, no problem. And you'll notice now I've turned my Xbox off, the lights are now flashing because obviously there's no signal. Now if I turn my Xbox on when it's there, it's stopped flashing and it's linked. So that just shows you how quickly that's connected and the picture is now on the screen. So it's near enough instant from turning it on to the picture coming through. I'm going to turn it off And there you go, starts flashing to show that there's no signal. So when there's no signal, it's flashing. As soon as it gets the signal, it stays on constant. Very, very easy to set up. Um, your HDMI goes in one end, your input source goes into the sender, um, then the receiver, uh, into the receiver, and then it goes out. So it goes all the way around, and it basically goes through the cat cable. So you can run this cable up to 60 meters long, um, and it's obviously going to be a lot cheaper than having a 60 meter um, HDMI cable and there's no loss of, no visible loss of any picture quality it supports all the resolutions um, as I say it says it recommends CAT 6A or CAT 7 this is CAT 5E let me unplug it just so you can see Um, there you go, Cat 5e, so it does work on Cat 5e even though it doesn't specify it, so at least it saves me having to buy a Cat 5e cable because I've got plenty of long Cat 5, uh, sorry it saves me having to buy a Cat 6 cable because I've got plenty of long Cat 5e cable so that's the result. So if you're looking for an extender it's very good, works it's really easy, no no uh, drivers, no nothing, all you do is you plug one end of your HDMI in with the power, the out on the other one going to the device, your TV and the power, connect the cable in and that's it, jobs are good. Enough.